All right, have and have not fans, this is a video on a topic a lot of people have asked me about, and it's in regards to Erica. I'm pretty sure I've done a video on this before, but again, since the fan base wants it, I'll be more than happy to oblige. Um, Erica, to me, doesn't have much of a role left in the series itself. I know in uh, real life, her and uh, Mitch are actually dating, so I did find that interesting that during the whole Mama Rose scenario where Warlock and his crew was shot up, Erica was pretty much the last one there. Uh, Mama Rose asked Mitch, like, you know, okay, what do we do with her? And then he was like, you know, hey, you can let her go. So I thought that was pretty cool. Like he was the one to say, you know what? She can go free and then she runs off. So I don't know if that was written in by Tyler Perry himself or if Mitch was like, you know, hey, we're dating, so wouldn't it be cool if I were the one to say, you know what, hey, baby, I'll let you live for another season, and uh, that's why she survived. But honestly, we know the main reason she's still alive and kicking is because she's being used in Candace's plot to get revenge on David Harrington by taking his money. And of course, we know Veronica hinted at a team up in terms of, look, this plan you got, I know about it from that camera I had in the bottom of the vase I had at the uh, Erica's room with the flowers in it. And she wants to eat revenge on David as well. Of course, Veronica and Candace have no love for Erica because Candace knew that Erica is working for a warlock. And of course, Veronica pointed this out when she heard everything from the camera. I don't know if she saw, but I know she heard. Now, aside from the plot with David, I've said that honestly, I would actually, and again, this is just me thinking out loud. I wouldn't have been opposed to when they originally first, you know, met when Erica started her plot. I wouldn't thought, I wouldn't have thought it would be a bad idea or would have uh, tongue tied. put it this way. I didn't think it would have been a bad idea for Erica and David to actually become a legit couple because David is a good man. He's not perfect, but he's a better husband than Jim Cryer. I will. I think we can all agree with that one. Uh, I feel like her having a stable relationship with a man who's financially stable, has a good job would have been a benefit to her, especially since Warlock is dead now for one. And when it comes to David and his business, he was kind of like Warlock because when you think about it, uh, almost every time him, him and Erica were together, he would get a phone call from, you know, Oscar or Jim and had to step out in order to take the phone call. And Erica got to the point where it's like, you know what, go ahead. Um, you can come right back. And then she would hop on the phone with like Candace, I believe. So in a way, when you kind of think about it, her and David together are almost like Warlock and Erica because Warlock had his operations and then Erica had her operation as well. And even though Warlock wasn't too fond of Erica sleeping around with other men, she even said at one point, look, when we first got together, we agreed. Like, I wouldn't interfere with your work. You don't interfere with mine and we'll be together. So, hey, who knows? Who knows? But aside from the David subplot or the plan to get revenge on him, what exactly does Erica have to offer? I really want to know. I mean... If anything, I hope we get some questions answered in regards to, you know, why does she hate Candace so much? Uh, I don't think we'll ever know more about, you know, how he, how she got together with Warlock or the fact of how her sister were ki was killed by Warlock. You know, assuming she even had a sister, because, again, it could be true what she told Candace. But keep in mind that a lot of these characters tell lies about their backstories. So we don't really know for sure what exactly happened. Now, when I'm thinking about Erica as a whole, you know, she's had an interesting ride in terms of the haves and the have-nots. I mean, being the one to get the car to Benny, to give to Hannah, um, being one to work with Candace in order to get Aaliyah to spill the beans on Oscar, then revealing that, oh my gosh, she's actually in a relationship with Warlock, and then leading to the scheme of conning David. But overall, I don't really know what else she has to offer to the show. I'm not saying, I feel like Erica's actress is beautiful for one, does a great job with what she's given, but I'm trying to figure out exactly what else is there for her to add to the show that hasn't been done already. You know, if there's anything that you feel is a viable reason for Erica to still be on the show, feel free to let me know in the comments because as of right now, I'm at a standstill and I'm looking at the uh, magazine article that Angela Robertson did with um, ABC Soaps, and it says here, uh, meanwhile, her cohort, referring to Candace, Erica will continue playing David like a well-worn deck of cards because David is so blind at the moment. So I'm going to be honest here. I think Erica might survive the entire season. I feel like Erica might be one of the lucky ones to make it 
from the beginning to the end of 2018. I want to be honest here because if the plot moves at the same speed that it has been, I don't see her plot being figured out unless Oscar gets involved or some along those lines. So, you know, maybe the fact that Oscar is with um, Candace briefly in the bar tells the tale. You know, in the trailer, there is a scene where he approaches Candace. It looks like she's going off on him as usual. If I'm not mistaken, Oscar hasn't talked to Candace since she uh, he gave her that bag of fake money. So obviously he doesn't know about her son being killed. So I doubt that right now would be the best time for him to approach her. So he might see her, um, Erica and Candace together and recognize Erica from that restaurant that he was at with a date one time. Remember, that's how she got one of the like the bellhop or whatever to put a phone in Oscar's car. So Candace could track where he was staying, which turned out to be a front, like, you know, a fake family, a fake house to throw Candace off of his tail. So that was pretty cool. Um, Oscar might be the one to find out who Erica is for David, because remember, he even said, like, look, you want me to do some um, work behind the scenes to see if I could find anything out about her? And he was like, no, 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 I got this. I'm, I'm good. But Oscar was like, look, if you feel if you have a gut instinct about her, then you should definitely follow it. And again, if Oscar had like five or 10 minutes with his laptop and even the last name, he could have found out everything there is to know. Uh, so with that being said, uh, just a question that a lot of people have been asking me, but I want to get your insight. Do you don't tell me if you want Erica to die, but just say, do you think she will survive or die in the upcoming season? Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. I do appreciate all support and I'll talk to you later.